I will always, forever, and always, <laughs> always, forever. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>if you guys hear any loud bangs it's just Stanton's reflection in the window for me that's what it is okay but I thought um since it's already gloomy this was the perfect time to film this video because any other day that I film this video I'm gonna be an emotional wreck I'm never going to recover I'm just not gonna be okay so today is the day and then I will probably spend the rest of my night with a carton of ice cream in bed sobbing my eyes out okay, so oh you don't even know what we're doing today do you we are reacting to our family's wedding speeches. Ah! Can, can you actually not though? <laughs> Can you watch mine at least when you're alone? Right no, I'm not. I gotta watch it right now. <laughs> Unless you want to tell her, tell her to her life. <laughs> we're gonna react to all of them. I heard some people were a mess. I heard some people had no idea what was going on. I've watched it, but I don't understand what Oma's saying or Abba's saying. And Stephanie hasn't seen anything yet. Then I think your speech is, is really good. I think Stephanie's gonna love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I go last though, please? <laughs> I think you have to go first. <laughs> this is gonna be probably the hardest video from our wedding trip to watch. It's gonna be our actual wedding video, which side note, did you guys watch all of our wedding vlogs in Switzerland? Because if you saw, all three of us, we came prepared. So Tiffany, me, and my fiance. <laughs> My husband. Oh, stubby. We, <laughs> stubby. Stubby. We were wearing these straps around our bods the whole time. Wait, it doesn't matter if I run it. I just want to see a cow. And it was our case to five phone straps. And let me tell you, it was the most life changing thing ever. I, there was one day in Lucerne, the, literally right after the wedding, we went into the city, and for some reason I had unstrapped it, and then I forgot to strap it back on. The whole time I was just so annoyed when we were traveling we had to look up all these train tickets it was so easy to literally my case to my phone case my case to my phone strap look at my train tickets and then drop my phone and then I would pick my phone up if I had to take a quick little b-roll or a quick little picture and not lose the moment I cannot tell you how incredible these phone straps were we all wore one please Describe the experience of the phone strap. It was life-changing and not only that here's what I love about case to I'm about to show you guys my <laughs> My Instagram picture or I guess I can just put it right here. It's cute Like when you hear phone strap when you hear such protective iPhone cases and it's super protective It's protective up to 11.5 feet drops for the impact case, but look at this like it matches my hoodie my little crew neck the Till Death Do Us Part crew neck, that's my case to my phone. That's my case to my phone strap. I mean, I'm literally wearing it in like all the pictures. Do you guys see that? That's my case to my phone and my case to my phone strap. <laughs> Look at it! It's an accessory and that's the thing about case to my, I freaking love it. I mean, they have so many cool designs. I like that anytime I see someone with a case to my phone strap or anytime I see someone with a case to my phone case, I can take one look at their phone case and I know their personality. It's like the most descriptive phone case ever. It's like an outfit builder. It's an accessory. It's like a walking piece of art that you keep with you on a daily basis. And I think it's because Casetify actually really prioritizes working with artists, big or small, from all over the world, from all different backgrounds and cultures. And you can see that in their collection of designs that they have. You can actually even customize your own phone case if you think that you are the best artist of them all. That's fine. You can do like your initials. I think you could do like all these photo collages. Like they're, the possibility are endless and I love that their phone cases are made out of 65% a storm is coming I love that their phone cases are made out of 65% recycled material and you can feel good about your phone case in fact case if I actually listens to you guys they've recycled over 51,000 used phone cases and that was as of 2021 and recycled them and turned them into new phone cases if you guys see the process I'm gonna put pictures here it's really cool how they do it it looks so cool. And if you guys want to sport some of like the biggest names, Casey has collabs with Stranger Things, Blackpink, the NBA. <laughs> so make sure to check the link in the description or go to casetify.com slash mango to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. That's casetify.com slash mango to get 15% off your new favorite phone case. And thank you Casetify for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. Uh <laughs> 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 first. Okay, I'm so nervous.
Uh, I wrote it all down on a piece of paper, but today I'm going to try to talk from the bottom of my heart, from the inside. So hopefully you guys can bear with me. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, I can't. He accepted an edit right there. He said, come on, Jada Steven. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I thought you guys would get married a lot sooner. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> Getting married after 10 years of dating uh, works too. I want to share my thoughts, my first impression of you guys. I will start with my better. cousin Stephanie. <laughs> so official. Uh, my cousin Stephanie. <laughs> my, my sister, sister in blood. blood. I'll say it right here and right now. You are my all-time favorite. The best cousin <laughs> that I could ever ask for in my life. When we were kids, I vividly remember just visiting your house <laughs> numerous times. <laughs> After church and after school. Stephanie said, why are you shy? And then your turn. Then your turn. <laughs> yeah. wait, wait till your turn. Wait, he said you're my favorite cousin because I remember visiting your house. <laughs> and you bring positive impact to you, the people around you. Your family, myself, you know, Tiffany, Paul. What the hell? <laughs> Even Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Guys, by the way, before Turn anyone that. comments for the 100th time, Patricia was invited to the wedding and she couldn't make it because of work, okay? You know, every no. single day, like in person, but I feel <laughs> oh, like I've seen a good dude. chunk of it. I don't know what I like more, the video or him dying in the back. <laughs> it, like his poses keep changing. His poses, his poses, his poses. His, his hairline's getting know? higher and higher. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't be emotional before recording this video. Damn it, I did it again. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> kind of giving YouTuber apology. Too many pauses. <laughs> oh yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Alright, seriously, let me fool. Alright. Um, if I can remember correctly, it was in 2017, and that was when I got introduced to Mr. Mango Butt. And I do oh, yeah. say off to you, Stephanie, for picking the right guy. He <laughs> is definitely a keeper, and is I'm he not glazing. <laughs> I'm just speaking facts <laughs> from, my, from my experience over the years. I just thought Mr. Mango Butt was a little bit cold. How could you do this to me? But... Over the years, I realized he's the type of person to not really talk much, but to show love through through actions. And <laughs> keep man. thinking lower, lower. <laughs> bro. He's literally physically cringing on the couch right now. I've never seen cringe so personified. Like his body is doing the squirm thing that you do when you're cringing so hard. By the way, the video is like 20 minutes of Ben and talking. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it short. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it short. I will always, forever, and always, always, forever. Oh my god! For you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. This is a lot rawer than I expected. I feel like we're raw dogging it right now. Was that fun, Nana? Uh, yeah, now it's gonna be fun. <laughs> And then... <laughs> yeah. 
that was good. That was good. Hey, this is good. Interview one. <laughs> Bro, he did the snaps in front of your mom's face for me. And then your parents just stone cold killers right there. Do you think he chose a good bride? So every year we have the opportunity to travel. Oh, we're talking about this. If you guys are ready for Sue Family 2024 vacation, then then we haven't told you yet. But we're gonna ship our entire family to South Korea, and we're gonna all get plastic surgery. I was just lying down in our sister's bed when all of a sudden the door comes flying open, and she's like, "Hi, I'm Stephanie." <laughs> It was at this moment, I, I knew she wasn't normal. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Yeah. You do remember? I was really annoying because when they started dating, like right before we started dating, I remember it's like their new love phase, you know? They like want to be together all the time. And I would go into my sister's room and plop down on the bed with them. Why? And I'd be like, so what you guys doing? <laughs> Why? Are you going to go out to eat? I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay, I have to say though, Andrew was so nice. When I first met them, me and Stephanie were both pretty young. Mm -hmm. Andrew always take all four of us out and yeah. treat all of us oh. all the time. Yes. Ten years later, here we are ready for the next chapter of their lives. I hope this chapter will be as good as the, the last and I wish nothing, for, nothing but the best for the both of you. I'm waiting for my niece. Oh. 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 <laughs> Andrew, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> Keep waiting. I'm getting so emotional. I guess it just got me um, to thinking about, you know, our sisterhood and what, I guess, our bond means to me. When I had Mia, I was so happy because I wanted Sophie to have the same connection that I have with my sister because I, I truly feel like the bond between <laughs> sisters. When me and my sister were younger, we never, like, because we're six years apart, so we were into different things. But she always, you know, I'm her big sister, so she always wanted to hang out with me. And I didn't want to hang out with her. My mom just <laughs> creeped in. <laughs> I'm just so proud of her that she's grown into such a strong, independent, like, and just very caring person. I'm just so happy that my sister has found someone that um, makes her a better person and who's so patient with her, will do anything for her. I just want to say congrats. Wish the best for you guys. Forever and ever and ever. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you too. Oh my gosh, why am I crying? Is it? She said, why is your sister making me cry and like <laughs> Mama, we're gonna play. Oh my god, Erin. Oh, oh, my god, Erin. Oh, 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 my god, Erin. 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 Oh my god, Oma, it's like they're so... Mom hits different. Oma, why are you crying right now? <laughs> She had this like unstoppable energy to make people happy. <laughs> she remembers all the memories from when I was young. <laughs> I used to follow my mom around everywhere. All of my mom's friends told her I was like a piece of gum stuck to her. <laughs> 
이제 나 아닌 다른 사람의 뻥딱지가 되는 날. And today's the day she becomes someone else's scum. <웃음> <웃음> 그러더니 하이스쿨 마지막 무렵에는 데이트의 또 진심이었어요. <웃음> In middle school, my very big interest was partying and hanging out and friends and birthday parties. And in high school, I studied really hard, and her heart would get so excited when. She would drop me off at school, and I would talk about like everything in my life that was going on. And then near the end of high school, no. dating you became a very big part of my life. <laughs> Basically, she said that to send her loving, caring daughter to you made her not like you. She didn't like you in the beginning, but after seeing how much you take care of me, you've become so lovable. <laughs> oh my love. <laughs> <laughs> Oma, number one speech. Yes. Oma, did you see Abbas' speech or no? <laughs> no? You want to see Abbas? You guys ready for us? Hold on. Most of my childhood, so he feels like he doesn't. There's not much he can say because he feels maybe uh -huh. bad that he wasn't there. Ooh. Oh my god, you look like a mermaid! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 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 <laughs> I was so 
nervous? Were you nervous? Bro, you don't even know. I feel like I was seeing you for the first time in years. Uh, it was so weird. Was I had just seen him like a few hours ago. <laughs> Clarify, I'm wearing really long nude shorts. It like comes down to my knees, but in this lighting, I swear I'm not in a church, just like butt naked. Oh my god! Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not the mouse. <laughs> Me being upset. <laughs> That's me being like, wow, okay, this is the value for pair. Do you remember your first follower? <laughs> no? That's okay. It was me. <laughs> you refuse to wake up in the morning, like this morning, <laughs> and you think returning a skirt is <laughs> You talk so damn much, even with the eating. <laughs> but that's okay. Because you're so cute. <laughs> and now I know why my parents brought me to America. So I can put you to sleep with the worst talk eating story. <laughs> I was freaking out when you said that. Because I literally had Monkey King in my mouth. I was like, oh my god. It's like connected. <laughs> and then I was like, is this a sign to marry him and not run? <laughs> you used to tell me that I made you feel safe so that you can be a butterfly, wandering around, chase after all pretty things, knowing that I'm running alongside you to protect you and frightening danger. But I never told you that it is because of you I wake up so excited every day to chase after you just to see where you are, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
<laughs> bro, I got so heated. Oh, no, cool. I feel like all the blood rushed to my head. Bro, my hair was so hot. You know, like when you, in the anime, when they see a hot girl, the nose is green. <laughs> In the anime, they're perfect. always nosebleed. Yeah, yeah, perfect on wedding day. <laughs> like I see a girl like <laughs> just nosebleed. Oh uh, yeah. That's me. And you bought me my first camera. My first bike. You withdraw everything to fill videos with me. And I accept better know that you want to support me. <laughs> and then one day I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember thinking, this man had worked so hard to make up my story come true. And I would be damned if I'm the one to stand in your way. Everyone may know tells me that I am the storyteller in the relationship, but they don't know that without you, the story of me might have been a little different. You are the maker of my dreams, and I've never met anyone so cute. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> it's nothing! <laughs> it's nothing! <laughs> I want a second to clean up. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was deep. Thank you both. And now I pronounce you more than a mark. You may now share your first kiss with her. You guys like it? 좋아요, 구독도 눌러주세요. She said subscribe. Yeah. Hit subscribe. subscribe. Wow, I don't even know what to say. I felt so nervous during my vows. I'm so sorry. I don't know why my voice was so shaky and cringe, but love you or whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're done with the marriage content. We're done being married. Divorce next. Divorce! <laughs> 2024! Sure, check out Case to buy a link in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.